Today's New Testament reading is the Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 14th chapter. Jesus said, I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Yet a little while and the world will see me no more, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. In that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and keeps them, he it is who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away, and I will come to you. If you loved me, you would have rejoiced, because I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it takes place, so that when it does take place, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no claim on me, But I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise, let us go from here. This is the word of the Lord. For today's meditation on God's word, we welcome Pastor Adam Filipek. Brothers and sisters in Christ, it's one of our greatest fears, being an orphan, alone, forsaken, abandoned to sin and its consequences. Oh, sure, it might be fun for a while, having no father, recognizing no authority, living the way that you want to live and doing whatever pleases you. And for a moment, it's fun. And it feels good to finally say those words that you know will hurt that person. Or to look and lust over and sleep with a man or a woman who is not your spouse because, quite frankly, you're just tired of controlling yourself. Or to scream murderous names and words at your children or your grandchildren because they are unruly and they refuse to listen to you and you refuse to take the time and energy necessary to walk the better road. To reject the idea of respecting those in authority over you. To justify not loving and caring for our neighbor, begging in the streets because you're on a fixed income or you don't have the time or they might take advantage of you or you ration that someone else will do it. Or whatever other excuse you use to justify, selfishly hoarding the gifts of God that you have been given. Pick your indulgence. But they all amount to the same thing. Idolatry. Doing what you want to do. Doing what makes you happy. Doing what is easiest and feels the best. And sure, being an orphan might be fun for a while. But you know the truth. Behind it all, there are consequences, crushing loneliness, guilt, shame, regret. And when the Father finally arrives in all of His glory, you do not want to be an orphan and hear Him say, I tell you the truth, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who are cursed into the eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. A place of eternal punishment where the worm does not cease eating you and the flame never dies, where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth and a descent into hopeless despair. But you are not an orphan. 
You are a dearly loved child of God, bought not with gold or silver, but with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. He has sought you. He has found you. And though you were once far off, Jesus has brought you near. He has marked you with his cross. He has cleansed you with water and the word, saying to you, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. You are joined to Jesus. You're a son of the living God and an heir of his kingdom. And in the midst of your guilt, in the midst of your loneliness, in the midst of your shame, your father comes to you anew this day, and he richly showers you with his undeserved gifts, saying, I forgive you. I forgive you all your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. He has not left you. He has not forsaken you. He has sent his Son, your brother Jesus, who has engraved you on the palms of his hands. He will never forget you. In Jesus Christ, he has even promised you eternal life. You will live even though you die. For everyone who believes in Jesus, everyone who looks to the Son has eternal life, and God will raise them up on the last day. So this day, you can depart in peace to love God and to serve your neighbor, knowing full well your sins are forgiven. Jesus is with you, and you have life in his name. Amen.